everyone and welcome to Derby. So this video is going to tell you where to stay, where to eat and of course where to ride on your first visit here. So you can get yourself ready for the trails and have a great time. Let's go! Derby is an old mining settlement established in the 1870s which boasted a prosperous tin mining and timber milling industry. As such you'll find many old heritage buildings throughout the town but today as I'm sure you all know Derby is home to world-class mountain bike trails. Joey and I are staying at Pilgrim Blue Derby, which is right on the main street and super convenient. It's a beautifully renovated old church that provides a comfy and much needed warm place to stay. We had a huge living space, comfy bed, luxurious bathroom and welcome drinks on arrival. There's also a dedicated shed for bike storage just outside too. Now let's head out for our first Black Stump shuttle day. From our accommodation we cruise down to the main trailhead where we'll meet our shuttle bus. This trip we booked with Vertigo MTB. The shuttles are split into morning and afternoon sessions so you need to pick your run strategically because first up you want to do something long because you have a bit more time followed by a couple of hot laps and then another long run to finish. However if you want to get your derby legs and it's a bit wet out there like it is today I highly recommend starting with hazy days. To get to the start of hazy days you need to take return to sender which is a pretty chill blue trail it has a few warm-up features scattered throughout so a few rocks and roots to get your bearings especially in wet conditions which aren't unusual here in Derby So something to be aware of here in Derby is that you will always need to pedal. So from return to sender to hazy days, there is a little uphill pedal section and I'm definitely joining the e-bike bandwagon next time I come here. I think I'll get a lot more out of it and I'll get a lot more runs down as well. But before I know it, we are at the top of Hazy Days and in for a great time. The Hazy Days is a green flow trail and it's got something for everyone. There's cool little side features that you can either tackle or you can skip if you're not quite up to it. And it is a long run down all the way to the trailhead. Hazy Days. I like this one. Oh, I think we just changed trail. What? That was cool. Very dirty down here.
for our next lap, we wanted to mix things up and kind of take it up a notch. So we decided to take flickety sticks, but if you do this, be prepared to miss the bus because it's a long way back to the trailhead. Although it's an awesome trail, I highly recommend it. It's better for a end of your session or a start of your next session kind of lap. So you have that extra time to get back without pedaling your little heart out like me and still missing it. But this trail guys, it is worth the pain of getting back to the trailhead. couple of laps on hazy days we've done flickety sticks so you know what is up next something fun something a little more challenging it's time for a gun and i have to say this trail lives up to the hype the top half was so much fun i couldn't wait to ride it again
from the bus, I can see. Okay, so in total with Vertigo MTV, we did about eight laps, I think, in the day. I actually sat out the last two because I'd strained my wrist because I'm bedding in a new fork and it wasn't quite right. Um, but after a long day of riding in the wet, there is nothing better than a hot shower and a good feed. And our favourite place to eat this trip was definitely the Hub. Nothing else quite compared to the quality of their wood fire pizzas and they are to die for. And you get to finish off with the Van Diemen's ice creamery gelato as well, which is just ugh, the cherry on top. We also tried out a new place, a deck at 69, which is pretty good, but their cocktails, they were very special and went down a tree. Okay guys, that is the end of our first day here in Derby. And oh my gosh, it was so much fun today. My favorite was definitely, are you gone? Like, it was so much fun. Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe so don't miss out on any of our upcoming adventures because tomorrow we will be tackling the famous Blue Tea Trail. Until then guys, see you later.